So the EPA took aim at America's drinking water, outlining a proposal they say will prevent deaths and illnesses and even hold polluters more accountable. As 6 News' Brent Weber reports, Iowa has had its sights on higher standards for some time. We can't see it in the water, but PFAS has been under our microscope for decades. Man-made chemicals like pur and polyfluoro have been in our water since the 40s, and Iowa has been working to get ahead of what the EPA is now proposing nationwide. And PFAS has been a concern for a number of years now. That's why we started our State of Iowa PFAS Action Plan back in January of 2020. McCoy explains the Iowa plan has already covered several testing tiers. While they wait on the EPA to determine the exact benchmark for acceptable PFAS levels, they'll keep testing and posting results online. And so anybody that has a red dot would be uh, around two to four parts per trillion. Uh, and that's, uh, we put them on quarterly monitoring at that point. And then if they were above the four parts per trillion, then they have to conduct public notification to let the public know uh, what's in their drinking water. Council Bluffs Waterworks General Manager Doug Drummy told me this is going to be an expensive rule. They're in the green on the Iowa DNR dashboard, but it will be difficult for some of the smaller places across the state and across the nation to pay for the testing that's needed. Uh, we'll be doing technical assistance to uh, small utilities all over the country, helping them uh, figure out what technologies to use, helping them install it, uh, helping them analyze the data and understand the cost of all of that as well. 12,000 different varieties of these man-made chemicals can make it into our bodies. Even exposure to flame-resistant materials put firefighters at additional risk. These contaminants can lead to various cancers, low birth rates, and more. If you're drinking water contaminated, it's constant. And the health effects on a whole are probably more substantial than other chemicals in our environment. It is expensive uh, to treat and um, hard to get rid of. So that's some of the challenges, um, but, but the good news is we can get it out of the drinking water and get, the, get it so that's not detected anymore. The EPA says its proposal to tighten PFAS standards would reduce illness and save thousands of lives in the U.S. each year. On your side in Council Bluffs, Brent Weber, 6 News. And as for what we can do, McCoy says many filtration devices for home use can filter out PFAS contaminants.